This is Captain Black, the hood conservative, with tonight's commentary, Republican Rednecks. Memo to my redneck friends who aren't racist, like Justin Time, the redneck Superman, obviously I'm not talking about y'all. But I am talking about Jim Allen, the Montgomery County, Illinois GOP chairman, who made the following comparison. He compared Erica Harold, a former Miss America and current congressional candidate with a quote streetwalker who is being used by the nefarious Democrat Party and even more nefarious in his words rhinos Republicans in name only to unseat a quote legitimate Republican candidate memo to the minority outreach gurus if you don't want GOP to continue meaning KKK in the minds of people in zip codes like mine you may want to rein in guys like this. Showing them the door wouldn't be a bad idea, but one does not want to infringe upon anyone's liberty. But in our got you politics infected environment, every time an email, tweet, or public statement like this goes out, the Democrat Party should send the person a check because you are doing their job for them. Democrats are very good at saying that anybody with the letters GOP associated with his name, particularly if he's white, is a racist. Comments like this cannot be outdone by replaying and reposting every racist comment that every redneck Democrat from the Civil Rights era to Reconstruction to some really notable ones in the Civil Rights era made. You can't do it. People are more focused on immediate negatives than historic ones. And this gentleman's immediate negative, I promise you, is something that will dog the GOP's footsteps as it tries to march down the road to greater, quote, minority outreach. And I have to say that in our increasingly ethnically diverse America, those whom you call minorities are in fact the new majority emerging in this country. Now, American blacks like Ms. Harold have a long history of being Republicans. But this history has been, as you know, changed since Take Your Pick, FDR, or Nixon's Southern Strategy. Now, we can argue about how people deceived and bamboozled black voters into supporting the, quote, Democrat plantation, and that's cool. But this guy's email did not come from the, quote, Democrat plantation. It came from a county GOP chairman against a congressional GOP candidate. So our work is cut out. But I think that the path out of this is fairly simple. Black folks do not attend Republican events. Republicans do not attend black folks events here in Louisiana. New Orleans particularly, there are a number of black events. Essence Fest is coming up next month. Wouldn't it be something to have a Republican Party recruitment booth in the middle of a sea of black people? Hmm. Do you think anybody has thought about that? I can't say for sure. But what I can say is that emails like Jim Allen's go a long way to cementing in people's minds the concept that Republican and redneck are really two names for the same sickness. Thank you.